because like in the case of Uganda, the laws are there, but they are not followed. They are not followed by the villagers. But if there was a, a serious campaign, the structure in Uganda is very strong. It goes up to the parish. Like this, this minister there, you should write a, a directive translated in the local languages, explaining the defilement. It goes up to the parish. Then it is, uh, and, and you, you, you don't only say there is a law. No, 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 it's not uh, uh, there is a law. No, you must also educate them. These children, when they are not yet 18, they are not old enough to carry babies. Their bodies are not fully, you must edu educate them about that. Their bodies are not fully developed to carry babies, so therefore these children can die when they are giving birth because they are not, you, you need to educate them. Sorry, not just the to, uh, slogans. It, it, is a, it is a lot of work to, to explain to them the why, the why. Uh, so that they say, oh, uh, then you, you talk to the children themselves in the schools, in the case of Uganda, they, uh, we have got to 11 million children in school now. So that's a big population, those children there. 11 million of them. 8.8 .8 million in the primary schools. 1.8 million in the secondary schools. About 200,000 in the uh, about 300,000 in the universities and, and, and 400,000 in the universities and that's about 12, 11 million children. This is a big population. You should talk to them through the teachers. Uh -huh. So how a, a structured uh, approach the children, approach the the the, the families. The children through the schools, the communities through the parishes, and the radios, because the radios are always there, always abusing him seven. They are always abusing him seven, that's all they do. M7 is very stupid, he doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, thank you very much. But, but in addition to abusing him seven, also talk about the children. Talk about the defilement. And you, you can make those stupid radios by, 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 by order to, to, to have uh, health programs there because it is part of the licenses. <laughs> you, you just arrange with the radios three hours abusing them seven. two hours talking about economic and, and social and health issues. That's a good arrangement. Two out of, of five for positive work, three hours for abusing him seven, you can, you can resume your abusing him seven as you normally do, but have some hours for positive work. This can be done by, by order, by the, the minister responsible. So that's number number four or five. I've forgotten my number one ideology, number two education, number three economic empowerment, number four legislation, number five sensitization. Yeah, so number five. These radios are doing nothing. Okay, they, they are they are abusing him seven. Wonderful. That's a good work. But in addition to abusing himself in the police, talk about, talk about our children, talk about the economy. If you don't do that, we close you, because you, you are useless. <laughs> My 
But then, uh, what I would think would be number six is a holistic approach. I'm glad uh, Ban Ki-moon, Ban Ki-moon is the one who started this. Uh -huh. Now, the problem I have with the UN programs is that they normally think of one program at a time. In some years, they say women, 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 women. Then after some time, say children. Children, 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 children. Then after some time, environment. Now, the problem is that we need a holistic approach. Because one problem alone, for instance, how will the government do them? if the government doesn't have money? How will the government enforce? How will the government monitor? How will the government support if the government does not have money? But how will the government get money if it does not have enough taxes, collect taxes? But how will the government collect enough taxes if you don't have enough investments in the country, the private sector, companies which you tax to get money. But how will you attract investments if you don't have good infrastructure, if you don't have electricity, if you don't have uh, good transport, how will you attract investment? So you can see that uh, these social programs, education, women rights, children rights, in the end, go back to the economy, to the economy of the, of the country. And the economy of the country goes back to infrastructure development. So I think for, for these programs to succeed, you need a holistic approach. No, 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 not just one, one issue, just one issue, one issue, one issue, and, and then you, you forget about the others. Uh, then you are not going to manage. You are not going to manage. So I think that would be number six, a holistic approach, uh, dealing with infrastructure, infrastructure of the country. What is the purpose of infrastructure? The purpose of infrastructure is to lower the costs of doing business in that economy. Have enough electricity at low cost so that you can attract industries, so that industries can create jobs. When these girls, when these children are working, they will not be as vulnerable as when they are not working, when they are not employed. Uh -huh. But also, to help the, the, the government collect taxes, have enough taxes, so that it can be able to do, to support, and to enforce uh, whatever it wants to enforce. In my opinion, these are the six uh, crucial points which are all linked. Now, of course, violence against women is, 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 uh, is cowardice. Because if you want to fight, why do you attack women? Why don't you go and look for men and attack them? So that you can have a balanced, a balanced fight. Attacking women, people who do that are, are bullies, cowards who want to get a weaker person to, to, to attack. 
But this can be part of the sensitization. To, to, to ashamed these people who, are, who, who beat women. If you want to fight, why don't you fight fellow men? So that we know that you are a, a, a good fighter. You see a weak, a weak person, you, are, you attack that one and you... you, you huh? But that can be part of the, of the shaming. 